Welcome Pisces to your end of the month of May reading. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. Okay. Let's see what's going on. We have that uh, Venus in retrograde. So having the Venus in retrograde, are you out loving, feeling the love, getting the love? <laughs> How is that Venus affecting you? And especially being only two uh, constellations over from Taurus. Yep, you're going to be feeling it <clears throat> one way or another. Okay. So, let's see what's going on for you. This is your energy, what you are thinking and feeling. And we have Nine of Pentacles. Pisces is doing yourself. Ooh, I'm feeling achieved. I'm doing what I want to do. I'll travel and do what I want. I'm feeling very achieved, very happy, and I'm not worried about nothing except for individual. Very nice. And then you have the power card sitting over here. Okay, very nice for your recognition. Um, it's like you're re recognizing yourself, right? The rec it's almost like a record. Um, Recognition and reward of yourself, and I see that at the bottom of the deck over here for you. So, yeah, definitely sitting within your own power. Um, just recognizing yourself, doing yourself, right? I'm having a great time, not worried about nothing. You do what you want to do, and I'll do what I want. <clears throat> so we have the recognition and reward. We're going to go ahead and start there. And why is it? Because you're standing your own ground, doing your own thing with your own power. Okay, and remember that this card not only... Um, clarifies on this card. It's the clarifying card for the overall general reading itself. Now, one card can do all of that. Amazing, right? Okay, so the power over here, taking that power back. Ooh. You got the temptation upside down. Was somebody being, um, were you <laughs> realizing that there was some Bad negative stuff somewhere, right? Somewhere. We'll figure out where. In the past, you had the heart chakra. You had solitude. And, oh, deception and envy kind of going upside down over here. Material harvest in the near future with the I want. Nice. Sacral chakra open. I want. Is that I want material harvest? I want my happiness. You know? Yep. There it is. So, not allowing anyone to take away your happiness or your power. And look at how they're sitting together. Do you see this? In the past, you have the deception and envy. And over here, the very last two cards, right? The temptation upside down. Sitting together, right? Sitting together. It's very important that they're sitting together because then it shows past, present, and then straight to the light, right? Finding that happiness. The way the cards are set mean a lot, okay? Mean a lot because they really work off of each other from the past, present, and future, okay? So near future, that is. <clears throat> Meaning not, not more than about three or four months away, okay? So I don't kind of go that far because of free will. You could change anything at any given moment in time. So going any further than that could lead you off of a path because any given moment you could say, you know what, I don't like the path that I'm on. So therefore, then that near future will change. Okay, so it is possible near future is what I usually always say. Okay. Because nothing is 100% written in stone. Okay. The only things that are written in stone is that you were born and you are fated to die. Okay. So 100. Okay. Unless, you know, destiny brings it in for it to happen to be fated that way for that time being. Right. Okay, so now that we got that clear, I just always want everybody to understand that because I don't know people get that all wrong. Okay, so in the past you had your heart open because of six of cups upside down, yet it ended. Wow, that ended fast. Okay, so I love, and then I went into solitude. And my deception and envy is upside down, so I'm not putting up with that crap no more. And that is possible loss. Okay, I see exactly what's going on. Um, it feels like the really... Oh, wow. 
Okay, and then there's that deception and envy again. <clears throat> With the five of swords sitting here, that there was deception and envy, but yet you got over it. It's like, yeah, you deceived me, but I'm getting over that real quick. Oh, wow, you weren't going to put up with that at all, Pisces. Like, you were like, nope, this is not going to happen. Wow. So, it was like you were messaging, everything was fine, you had the passion, everything was going good. It looked like everything was going good, and then all of a sudden something bad happened, and you were like, Pfft. no, I'm not putting up with that at all. Yeah, there was no taking this on, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and if it is, it's, it could be that it was fast like this as well, because maybe you did put up with it really, you know, a lot at one time. And then just all of a sudden in the near past, you were like, done. So yeah, you, <laughs> you were like, I'm done with this. You know, um, maybe this person even feels entitled to you and you know it and you were like messaging me and I can feel that you're entitled to me um, because we had had a lot of happy times. Uh, we knew each other from the past um, with the Six of Cups sitting over here. This could be somebody you knew from long ago. Um, could even be, you know, a very long relationship. But no matter what, you were like, um, no. My heart is open, but something happened to where they made you bitter. The relationship, and I'm telling you, they were bitter because of this deceit of whatever they were doing or this fighting or whatever it was. You became bitter or they became bitter. Loss. There was, it was a lot of passion at one time and you knew it and they made you very happy, but the relationship became very bitter. Maybe somebody was even stingy with their heart. Ooh, because you have the heart chakra with the six of cups upside down. Somebody could have been, um, very stingy with their heart, didn't want to open up as much as you wanted to, or vice versa. And uh, the text messaging were going and going, but it was like, um, the more I keep texting you, why do you feel like you're entitled to me? Or maybe they were kept text texting, or someone would keeps texting to make you feel like they're entitled to you, like they won't leave you alone. Like, I'm yours, you can't leave. <clears throat> okay. Okay, but you're not going to put up with the deception and envy anymore, whatever it was, whatever false mask they were wearing, however it is for you. Okay. <clears throat> but you have the recognition and reward over here sitting here, and you're like, like I said, it feels like you're recognizing yourself with the power and the nine of pentacles. It's more like the recognition and reward. Yeah, it is. It's yourself. It is the king of cups. I'm recognizing myself. I'm moving forward, standing my ground. Yeah. Moving forward, I have the recognition of what's going on around me. I know the truth, and pretty much the truth is, is that I'm not putting up with any more deceit, and I recognize the negative vibes that you put within this relationship. Yeah, so I'm looking out, and I'm saying, yeah, I'm going to, like I said, do your, you're, you're doing you. Hmm. Yeah, you're offering yourself your own Ace of Cups. You're going to go off and be fruitful by yourself. You know, it's like, I can go find my, I can go find better love than this. You know, do you need some healing from this? Did you heal from this? Okay. You know, if it was a long relationship. Maybe, you you know, you are healing now. <clears throat> um, but you definitely see the hopes and the promises of a better relationship in the future. You're, yeah, you're definitely looking for new love and you're definitely moving on from this chapter. You're saying, I'm done with this chapter of my life with you and I am completely moving forward and nothing is going to, you know, hold me back. The moon card, you have your own secret desires. You have your own secret wishes. You have your own things. Maybe you're wearing your own rose colored glasses and you're saying, these are my rose colored glasses and I'll go out and find what I want because you're not it. Hey, Pisces have rose colored glasses, wear them because you're dreaming. You're dreaming of the new love that you can have. Look at this. Don't tell me you're not because I know exactly what you're doing. I know Pisces very, very well. Okay, look at this. You, actually it goes this way. Oh wait, no, it actually was going that way. But you know what? We're going to do it this way because it doesn't really matter. The whole point is, yeah, because you have the ace here. Okay, so fine. Okay, spirit, here we go. You have the fulfillment of wishes with a love. Dreaming, hoping. Okay, doing that dreaming. Going deep. 
Going deep into fish mode. Here we go, right? Becoming a mermaid. Here we go. For the new love of someone that you adore. Dreaming again. Illusional. Disillusional. Dreaming. That's a heavy dreaming right here. That's that dreaming where, you know, you're like... Oh, hold on a second, guys. Doing hold on. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, yeah, you're doing this heavy duty dreaming. This is when you start going into that that deep dream. That's that I know what I can have and I'm going to find it. Or maybe you already see the person that you want. You already have your eyes set on something else and you're dreaming about how you're gonna get this person. Okay, so yeah. And you're like, yeah, I don't need that. I have a whole new world. I don't need you. <clears throat> and there's something about dreaming, too, with you guys. Because it's almost like um, you were made to do so. Because you, you actually have dreams that you can make things reality. So even though it feels so, um, to a lot of signs, it feels very like, you're not grounded. You need to... Get your head out of the sky. No, actually, that's you. That's how you make reality. It's just like Virgo, you know? Why does Virgo go in hiding mode? They don't go there just to, like, you know, be solid, like, completely solitude and hermit themselves 100% away. No, they go in there to heal so that they can find um, what's deep within, right? Mind, body, soul. Same with you. You're making these. Reality. So yeah, put on those rose-colored glasses and go, yeah, there it is. Go manifest what you want. Go after what you're looking for. Because that's what's going to make you happy. It makes you feel calm. This is where you get your calmness. Yeah, signs, other signs don't get that. But that is exactly what it is. And that's why Pisces are so misunderstood. Probably the most misunderstood sign in the Zodiac. Because people can't understand why you do what you do. Okay. I get it. I have a lot of Pisces uh, family, a lot of Pisces friends. So I 100% get it. <clears throat> so yeah, and you're probably looking for someone who can go dream with you. Okay, would you like to come to my dream castle under the sea and become a mermaid or a merman with me? Heck yeah, I do. <sighs> Please ask me again. But then again, I'm Taurus, so you know. <laughs> so yeah, I want to go. <laughs> Please let me see your underwater castle. Okay, so yeah, you know, so yeah, or an island where we get to like hang out in our minds and drink, you know, umbrella drinks all day. Heck yeah, Pisces, let's go. I'm so ready. Okay, so yeah, and that's what you're doing. But I'm telling you right now, this feeling that I'm having over here with this other person is they're like, why, where is Pisces? And why did Pisces ditch me? Pisces doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. You were evil. You did something wrong. They don't want anything to do with you anymore. So, yeah. In the near future, you're going material harvest, wheel of fortune. I'm choosing a new, better path for myself. I dreamed it. I'm praying on it. I'm manifesting it. I'm looking for it. I'm all calm and cool now. I'm logically thinking too. So what's going to happen is you're going to do what? You're going to go from dreamland into um, magician straight into logical thinking, right? Because now you're going to go from, you know, um, being airy, we'll say, okay, head in the sky, dreaming, straight to grounding yourself to logical thinking, right? Because you're like, oh, okay, I got it. And then you're going to take off those rose-colored glasses and you're going to say, yeah, I got this now. Okay. Not 100% grounded with air, right? But some of you might even have air in your chart, which is going to be, you know, one of those things. Um, but yeah, or you might even find an air sign for yourself. <coughs> right? You might manifest and say, hey, I like this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, you know, that I'm coming towards. But otherwise, yeah, you're over here manifesting and you're like, okay, I've got this new new um, path I'm going to take. This is better choices, better ideas, better what I want, what I want. And it's going to make me happy, right? 
but you're still focused and you're still going to work and you're still focused. And it's, when are you not working? That's okay though. Workaholics, you know, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, but there's a lot of hope going on and yeah, there it is. I'm happy. Three of cups. I've made my options. I see my options and I've got all my strength back. So, <clears throat> whoa, here we go. Ace of wands. Ooh, you got passionate new somebody coming in towards you. Are they running in toward you quick? Somebody's in here. Somebody has an air sign coming in at you. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Passionate new beginnings with strength. Someone coming at you. But, but then you have this uh, King of Wands. Okay. Got this pissed off king of wands. Who's this pissed off king of wands? Who's this person? Who's this person that's sad, mad? Oh, this is the person from the past. This is, oh, they're sitting in Anzai. This is the person from the past. This is the person that you let down. They are missing you. They're upset that they cannot be with you. They are still watching you. Oh, maybe they're the air sign. Oh, could be. Could be that they're the air sign because you have Libra over here as well. Maybe they're the air sign that you're getting over and okay, take it how it resonates because that could be it. That the person coming back is this person and they're trying to win you over. They miss you. Or you could be dealing with a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius. Yeah, but yeah, definitely this is that. Oh, ooh, there's that Gemini again too. Saying one, two, Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a fire or an air sign. <clears throat> For some of you, it doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. But they're definitely um, missing you. Look at this. They have anxiety. They can't sleep at night. They miss their Pisces. Pisces, why'd you ditch me? Look at that. Eight of Cups. Because you were deceitful. They want a second chance with you. They're all up in their head. But, yeah. Could even be some gossip. Um, I don't really see it gossiping, though. I think they're talking to someone else about how they're missing you. Yeah, how they're missing their Pisces. Pisces again, hangman. How they're they're um, hoping that you'll take an apology back from... Whoa, two apologies. Cups of love. They want you to um, take their cups of love, and they want to offer you an apology, but they're not coming towards you. They're not going to come towards you. It's like they are coming towards you, but they're not coming toward you. Ooh. It's because they see your strength and your stability. They know you're not going to offer. They know you're not going to accept their apology. It's like they want to, but they're afraid. Yeah, because of the backslid relationship. Yeah, they know that the way you think of them is not good. So they don't feel like they have any options at this time, but they really are missing you. Oh, yeah. Double energy because they knew the toxic relationship came to an end. Double in the tower. But it looks like they have a new person. They have a new person anyways. They could be also dealing with a uh, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. It looks like they have a new relationship, but it's not going the way they want it to go. Yeah, they're not happy at all with the Three of Swords. They're not happy with this person. Um, it's almost like... Whoa. You know what? I think they came and told you that they were offered. I, I do. I think for some of you, they actually told you, came and told you they have a new person and are trying to act like they're happy, but they're not. And they actually look kind of foolish to you. Huh. Like you're acting stupid. Um, maybe that's what the gossip is. They're gossiping not only about how they want you back to somebody, but also gossiping to you about their new love. But don't take it that way because <clears throat> this love has a lot of arguing and fighting in it. Just like your relationship did with them. Wow. Okay. For some of you, not all of you did, because for some of them, it also feels like there were just little mistakes that were made and, um, they didn't give you all the love that they could have showed you and they missed a really big opportunity. And I see that here. Um, 
or there was just, yeah, no matter what, they, they messed it up. Um, but now they're just trying to show you that this new person in their life is here. <laughs> and they're trying to show you that they're happy, but they're not. And all it is, is three of swords and, and, um, arguing. And like I said, for some of you, that's exactly the way your relationship was with them, but they want to come back. They actually want you, wow, to believe that they're happy. But yet, and some of them, like I said, some of them are talking to their friends or something, telling them how much they miss you and how they're not happy with this new fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, just, you know, that's what Spirit's saying. Um, and how much they really miss you. And how they're so upset that they can't be with you and that they feel it was a missed opportunity. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because they think you're the one for them. And their insecurities are holding tight to you? Huh. That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, so they might um, come back and tell you that they have this new person. Oh, everything's great. So-and-so and I are just doing wonderful. And really, it's not. And then she's over here or he's over here talking to uh, Susie or Mark or whatever and telling them, oh, I miss my Pisces so much. My new fire sign doesn't do anything for me. The other one was so loving, I can't believe I messed up. I wish I could have another chance with them. And they're really holding on to those feelings, and it really gives them insecurities about you. Um... Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay, so it says, let your friends help you. Yeah, separation. You already had that separation. This could be the one. Yeah, it's because of the deception somehow or another. Um, and deception doesn't even have to be that. Maybe they were just wearing a false mask. Maybe they just weren't showing you the love that they could have been showing you. Um, you know, and they really messed that up. It's like, I gave everything to you and you didn't show me nothing. You just kind of pulled on my heartstrings and now I let you go. And uh, now you're going to sit over here and, and you're going to tell me that you're with somebody else. And, but yet you really still love me and want me back. And you see it as a missed opportunity. Wow. And that's just because there was really a lot of chemistry between you and that person. But it just could not work. Just couldn't. Could not, could not. Okay. Couldn't, couldn't. So Spirit says just keep an open mind. Okay. Um, love yourself first. True love is coming to you. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's all I have for that, guys. Okay, and the angels say. Sorry about that phone call, too. It's my husband. He likes to call during certain times of the day. Okay, you never know when it is. <laughs> okay. So the angels said, just let go of that negative energy. Don't let that affect you at all. Just remain positive because, you know, angels have better things coming for you. Okay, so don't let this person worry you at all. Just stay the magnificent you that you are. And within the next few weeks, everything will be, you know, Fine and dandy. And I also hear that it, within the next few weeks, this might be when you're going to hear this person come tell you about this, this new person they have. <laughs> okay. And actually they think they're being so, you know, oh, everything's fine with me. I thought so-and-so. And you're like, yeah, you're acting stupid. Why would you even tell me that? Why do I care? And that's just because they want your attention. They're trying to make you jealous is what it seems like to me. They want you to believe that you missed an opportunity with them because that's the way they feel. They feel that they have missed an opportunity with you. So they want you to, they're trying to get your goat to see if you'll say the same. That's exactly what I'm getting out of that. So don't stop. Don't stop doing you. And don't stop because in, it's an arrogance thing and it's really also a low self-esteem uh, self thing. And the reason is, is because when somebody believes that they have a missed opportunity and they really want your attention... They're going to come back to see if they can't make you jealous to make you say, oh, well, I miss you too. Most people don't do that. It's a very immature uh, way of thinking that rarely happens. Okay. 
unless you really 100% believe that this is a missed opportunity, then you too can have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation to make it out. But for most cases, that is just not the scenario for most people. This is a very, um, it's not even really arrogance, you guys, though, I don't think. I, it's really insecurity. They really are heartbroken that you're gone and they do miss you. And they really do believe that they messed up. So it's going to really, within the next few weeks, time will tell whether or not you're going to give this person a second chance or are you going to 100%, um, you know, just continue to keep doing you. Okay. So it's, but yeah, people, they do do that. It's so weird. But it is what it is. And sometimes that's how reconciliation work is that we find out that maybe we love each other more than we thought we did. <laughs> So it's going to be up to you. Okay, so prepare for change. Okay, Pre prepare for changes no matter what and give unconditional love and grace unto yourself no matter what. And, you know, and that's really it. So however the river flows for you, that was your reading. And I will see you at the beginning of June. Wow, time is really moving fast. So until then, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.